little kitty. Stay calm. I am coming. Scary quicksand. Well, indeed. But the crucial question is, how much scary? Well, let me explain that as quickly as possible. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us have a quick look into this nature's trap we call quicksand and quickly find an answer to a life-saving question. What happens if you fall into quicksand? Zoom in! Years ago, action films were filled with scenes of unlucky people strolling in a jungle and stepping on a patch of apparently solid ground that suddenly turns out to be mushy. And after some struggle, things turn for the worse as the helpless victim starts sinking down into the muck in the most dramatic way, just to disappear without a trace. Movies like these made an entire generation of audiences wonder whether quicksand is indeed the highway to hell. All these scenes are just a creative and exaggerated depiction of these muddy puddles. Well, before we answer that question, let us see what quicksand is actually made of. Quicksand is a non-Newtonian fluid, meaning it can change its thickness or viscosity depending on the stress applied on it. It is made of sand saturated with water. Saturated means the sand comes thoroughly soaked with water or other liquid so that no more can be absorbed. Quicksand is formed when water saturates an area of loose sand and the sand is agitated by flowing underground water or earthquakes. Vibrations caused by agitation and excess water reduces the friction that usually occurs between sand particles. This means the sand begins to act more like a liquid than a solid. Once the sand liquefies, it loses its strength and ability to support heavy objects, such as a person standing on its surface as they start to sink deeper and deeper. But not the way movies depict it. Yes, that's because in most cases, quicksand is not a few feet deep. So, it may swallow your shoe or even your knees, but it probably won't eat you whole. Another reason for this that quicksand is denser than water and the human body is less dense than quicksand, which means you can actually float more easily in quicksand than in the sea but only until you won't move. Yes, during an experiment, scientists placed an aluminum bead on top of a container of artificially created quicksand in their lab. At rest, the bead stayed on the surface despite aluminum's high density. But then, scientists started shaking the container. When they shook it only a little, the bead continued swimming on top. But when they shook the container a bit harder, the ball sank to the bottom. This helped them conclude that the best thing to do when you are stuck in quicksand is not to panic and rapidly swing your body. But instead, just stay calm and use slow motions to bring your body to the surface and then lay flat on your back until help arrives. So, here we go friends. Now we know that quicksand is not an evil force of nature as depicted in movies. However, it does not mean that you deliberately jump into this puddle of gooey sand as it can still be very dangerous and can permanently damage your lower body. Trim 
Trivia time! Did you know the density of quicksand is 2G per cubic centimeter compared to 1G per cubic centimeter of the human body? The density of quicksand can be lower than 2G per cubic centimeter depending on the volume of water present below. However, its density never falls below that of human body density. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>